I'm Matt Horsling, Certified Financial Planner with Pure Financial Advisors, and this is your question of the week. Today's question is, do I need an estate plan? The simple answer to that question is yes. We all need to have an estate plan. But really, what type of an estate plan do we need? Well, that depends upon what type of assets you have. So if you're younger and have liquid assets of less than $150,000, chances are a simple will will suffice. Basically what a will does is it directs where you want your assets to go upon your passing. You appoint an executor, and that executor's responsibility is to make sure that your stuff goes to your beneficiaries, family, loved ones, charity, in the manner that you desire. If you're married, have kids, own a piece of property, and or have liquid assets in excess of $150,000 here in the state of California, you likely need to have what's called a living trust established. Basically what that trust does is similar to a will, the trust appoints a successor trustee and that person's job is to direct where your assets go. Now, what the trust does is it avoids probate. Basically it's just a streamlined process for administering your estate. If you end up in probate, that's a bad thing. If your estate subject to probate, what that essentially means is that it could be a very lengthy process. It may take anywhere from six months to two years to get your estate wrapped up, and the courts get involved, which we know can be very expensive. Those fees can range anywhere from two to five or nine percent of your gross estate. So a living trust will help you to avoid probate. The last two documents that everybody needs, regardless of the size of the assets that you have, are financial powers of attorney and a health care power of attorney. And what those do is a basically appoint someone to make decisions for you in the event that you cannot make them yourself. So the financial power of attorney directs someone to pay your bills for you, get your taxes filed for you, pay your mortgage, things like that. A healthcare power of attorney directs someone to make healthcare decisions on your behalf if you're incapacitated. So let's say diagnostic work, surgical procedures, things like that. It's most important that your intentions are documented so if something happens, your family knows exactly what you do or do not want in the event that you are incapacitated. So bottom line is this. Simple estate, a will will probably do. If you have a more complicated or larger estate, get a living trust established. My advice also is go to a qualified estate planning attorney, somebody who just practices this. When it comes to protecting your assets, make sure you're doing it right. I'm Matt Horsley. That's your question of the week.